All right, guys, in this episode, we're talking everything um, sleep oriented. We're talking recovery. We're talking decreased cortisol. We're talking stress. We're talking caffeine intake. We're talking a, a bunch of those things. So let's get into this episode right now. I'm Billy Henzo, and I'm obsessed connecting real people to real supplements. Let's get into this video. This video. Okay guys, so in this episode, we are talking all about everything sleep and recovery. And not sleep in the way that you're probably thinking like, oh, I need to get more hours of sleep or I need to get to bed earlier, get to bed later. We're going to be focusing on quality of sleep and how it pertains to recovery and what supplements you're going to be able to use to help you get there. Um, so I wanna dive right in. A big, um, you know, this is, I always call our, our sleep products our sleeper products, you know, with the pun intended, meaning they're often overlooked as something that's a byproduct of getting to the success you want or the results you want. Um, people often think, okay, sleep is important, but honestly, I got a lot of things to do. I got to get up early morning and just grind. So I'm just going to go to bed at two, wake up at five, and I'm just going to get after it. I don't need sleep. Um, that's a big you know, like misconception and how everything works with your body. Um, first of all, you need sleep. And all, also to the point where of the three things that are most consistent that need to be happening in order for you to move the needle and move forward in your training and health and uh, progression to where you wanna go, there's three things that are super important. First being nutrition, obviously. Second being training. And third being sleep. Sleep is actually a huge part of how your body works and how it's going to be able to recover and repair for everything else you're going to do, not only physically, but mentally as well. Um, so let's go right into the nutritional supplements that you're going to want to look for when you're trying to get the best sleep possible. So the first one that you've probably all heard of is ZMA, which ZMA stands for zinc, magnesium, and B6 aspartate. Um, ZMA is they're all you know, natural minerals that occur in nature. What that's going to do is that's gonna help relax your central nervous system. So now think of what, okay, what's going to amp up my central nervous system? Caffeine and you know, pre-workout, which we talked about in previous episodes, that's going to increase your central nervous system output. So this is going to bring you back down. This is decreasing your central nervous system's over taxation. So by getting in zinc, magnesium, and B6, your body's going to be able to be in more of a relaxed state so you can get to your deeper level of sleep. If you're in a really stressed and highly concentrated state, your body's not going to be able to get the maximum rest that you need in order to get maximum recovery. Um, so zinc, magnesium, and B6 is a huge key component. It's been around for many years and it's something that, um, lots of athletes have used for a very long time to help with uh, sleep and recovery. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on that because there's a zillion videos out there explaining ZMA um, and it's pretty basic. I basically summed it up. It helps your body relax, get into its deepest level of sleep. There we go. I wanna spend a few more times, uh, a few more minutes talking about some other ingredients that are going to be huge for helping you succeed in how you sleep. Um, we'll go right into my favorite one. One of my favorite ingredients, phosphatidylserine. Phosphatidylserine is a phospholipid, meaning it's a fat. And what that is going to do is it's gonna help decrease a hormone called cortisol. So cortisol, a lot of bodybuilders call it the death hormone. Um, really cortisol is a fight or flight hormone. So there's three hormones released during your fight or flight. So if I had a lion that was gonna rip through the store right now and try and annihilate me, three things are gonna be released, you know, three hormones are gonna be released into my system to help me deal with that. Um, testosterone, adrenaline, and cortisol. Um, we're gonna focus on cortisol primarily because that's your stress hormone. That's the one that says you need to address this, there's something immediate, um, you need, like, it's gonna be what's gonna help you take care of like, immediate situations and be focused on that single task. Um, cortisol is important, it helps us survive. But too much cortisol, too much stress upon your system is going to increase your body's uh, fat storage and it's going to eat muscle as well. So cortisol running rampant through your system all day long. Um, some contributors to cortisol, one of them being caffeine. Another one, like I said, being stress is gonna cause more cortisol to be released. Those are things that as Americans, we, we do daily. I mean, we, that's like water to us. So the more we can do to, to mitigate cortisol, the better. Um, you're not, no, one, no one that I've ever met is gonna die from a lack of cortisol. You know, I mean, that's maybe a medical condition out there, but all of us have too much cortisol. We need to do whatever we can to get that down. Um, so we can relax. The more relaxed our system is, the more we're able to get a deeper level of sleep. 
Um, so phosphatidylserine is going to be stimulating blood flow to other parts of your brain to signal the decrease of cortisol levels. Um, that's going to help us not store as much fat, not eat up as much muscle, and get deeper sleep and more recovery to your brain. Um, it's going to decrease stress. It's going to decrease anxiety. There's even been some newer studies that have come out that says it can even help with ADHD. Um, and you do wake up feeling a lot more refreshed. I feel a lot sharper on mornings when I have phosphatidylserine in my system going to bed versus mornings that I skip it. So that's something that's very cl crucial to helping maximize your recovery during sleep. The next ingredient that I want to talk about is going to be macunapurine. So uh, macunapurine uh, converts to dopamine in your system. It's also called velvet bean. That's kind of one of its nicknames. Um, it's most commonly grown in Africa. Um, it's an adaptogenic herb, which we can you know, get into adaptogens on a whole different episode. But basically, um, macunapurine is going to help your body increase its dopamine levels. Uh, dopamine, let's break that down a little bit. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter. So a neurotransmitter is what is used for the neurons, which are nerve cells in the brain, to communicate. Um, so that is a huge, hugely important uh, hormone that's going to be in your system. Uh, Dopamine is also not created by that many neurons. Um, there's only a few contributing ones within the brain that actually create dopamine. So doing more to help create more dopamine in your daily nutritional expedition is going to help you a lot because as you age, you, they've, studies have shown that there's less and less dopamine that your body creates. So doing things to supplement dopamine even though it's a you know, very small piece of the pie, it contributes to big effects. Um, dopamine is also known as the feel-good hormone. You know, it makes you feel euphoric, um, blissful. You can even be, in some people, they feel like they can get more concentrated. They can sit back and critically think more. Um, but that's more just you know, down the dopamine rabbit hole. But we're going to focus on, with specifically macunapurines, what it's going to do. Remember with uh, ZMA, I told you that it's going, to de it's going to help your body relax your central nervous system and get into your deepest level of sleep. Um, with a more present dopamine level, you'll be able to stay in that deep sleep pattern longer. So, you know, if you're only getting like some, some adults only get, some adults never really get into full deep sleep. Let's say you get maybe seven minutes of deep sleep a night, you know, the, like having a proper amount of dopamine in your system can help increase that up to like, you know, 21 minutes, 25 minutes of deep sleep. And that's actually a huge amount. So, um, even though that sounds like, oh, that's only a few minutes, uh, however many minutes you spend in deep sleep is a lot more important than the minutes you spend in your upper levels of sleep. And we can do sleep on a whole different episode, but, um, on the levels of sleep, but with more dopamine, you're going to be able to get that elongated deep sleep pattern and get more recovery. So, um, we have a product where we've combined all three of these, uh, ingredients. So downtime, this is my sleeper product. It's, a uh, you know, another important thing I want to talk about with downtime is um, I'm going to address another ingredient that's super prevalent in, you know, sleep products. It's called melatonin. Melatonin is, um, it's a great product for helping people go to sleep. Uh, this product's not going to be like melatonin, though, because this product won't knock you out. Um, you won't get sleepy when you take this. You also won't get groggy when you wake up. So there's sleep medications and sleep pills out there that you probably heard of that you're like, oh, man, I don't really want to mess with those because they're going to make me super, you know, like groggy. I have to be up early. I, you know, downtime is not one of those products. ZMA, phosphatidylserine, macunapurines, they don't actually make you groggy. So even if you're, you know, oh, man, it's 11 o'clock, I still have to be up at 5 or 6 tomorrow you can still take downtime and help maximize that less amount of sleep and make it more quality sleep. Um, and you're not going to be groggy. So even if you only get two hours of sleep, it, no matter when you take it, it's not going to negatively affect you. So we chose to leave out some stronger sleep products like melatonin. So this was something that, you know, people who kind of struggle with s sleep addictive stuff, that's not going to mess with them at all. This is way more natural. So downtime, um, you know, people that are going to use this product, they're typically going to use it to, like we covered in the episode, decrease cortisol levels, increase deep sleep pattern, help your body get to its deepest level of sleep, and hopefully maximize your body's recovery. This is also crucial for people who, you know, kind of lean into overtraining. You know, I have a lot of friends, and even I've been this way at times, where you get into a really good rhythm of training and you just keep going and going and going and you're going, you know, beyond six days a week, sometimes seven, sometimes you're going back for extra cardio at night and on and on and on. And if you're one of those people, 
and you're not doing something to help increase your body's, uh, you know, really good deep sleep, it's going to be very tough for your body to fully recover. When you sleep, the first thing your body does, just as a survival mechanism, is gonna repair your essential you know, organs, your heart, liver, kidneys. Um, muscle comes after that. So if you're really heavily taxing the rest of your system, it's gonna be really tough for your body to warrant you know, giving a lot of effort and calories towards muscle um, repair and recovery. So that being said, it's really important to do something to help increase your body's overall sleep production so that way you're not getting super overexhausted. So another thing that um, is gonna help with downtime and you know, ZMA, phosphatidylserine, and mucutapurines is you're going to help increase your body's HGH production. Now, HGH production, when I say that, I don't mean you're gonna look like Arnold after three you know, bottles of downtime. But what I am saying is your body's not going to release enough growth hormone until you get into the deeper level of sleep. And in your deepest level of sleep, your body's going to release the most growth hormone. So if you're, you know, younger and your growth plates are still open, it's very crucial to get enough sleep so your body can release the maximum amount of growth hormone. Again, I'm not saying that a couple bottles of downtime, you're just gonna get taller, but if there's a possibility that you're going to get taller, getting enough sleep is gonna be a huge contributing factor. Um, now, if you're older and you're like, well, why does growth hormone matter to me? Uh, growth hormone really helps you in staying younger and more youthful and also with overall recovery. So growth hormone is gonna be something that everybody wants to get more of. So by it, you know, increasing your body's ability to get into a deeper level of sleep, you're gonna increase not only you know, dopamine levels and all this you know, REM sleep and all this other good stuff, but growth hormone is also going to increase. A lot of you are thinking, all right, I'm doing plenty of recovery. I've already got glutamine, I've already got you know, creatine, I've already got protein shakes. Why do I need to get a, a sleep product to help me increase recovery? If you want any of your other products to work better, you need to be getting the proper amount of sleep so your body can utilize all those nutrients overnight. If, you, if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, your body's just not going to kick into that overall repair mode where you're utilizing everything in your system to maximize recovery so the next day you can get after it. Okay, so if some of you guys are thinking, all right, this is not for me, this is some, um, you know, herbal, vitamin, mineral, not gonna work. You know, I'm looking for only things that give me results. So that's something that a lot of people have thought, me included when I started, you know, taking, you know, ZMA, phosphatidylserine, mucunipurines, and um, these kind of sleep products. And uh, I'm thinking of, you know, one person in particular I know who's a, a diehard over downtime. Now that he's gotten started and his name's Mike. He's a client of mine and he um, owns a lot of businesses. He has a high, high, high stress level. Um, most times if I get an email or a text from Mike, oftentimes it's at four in the morning, 3.47. He, I'm always wondering, when do you actually sleep? And that was actually a conversation we had, you know, after a few years of him shopping here, I was like, hey, like, how do you know, how's your sleep and recovery? He's like, I, I don't sleep. You know, I try, I've tried many different really strong pharmaceutical stuff and I've, you know, taken tons of it and it doesn't really work. I still don't sleep. Um, and we switched, we're like, you know what? Like, maybe just take a break if it's not working and try downtime. And he's like, basically gave me the answer of, look, I don't, I know this isn't going to work, but because, you know, I want to support you and stuff, let's give it a shot. And, you know, he came back, you know, the next, the next month and bought like a couple bottles just right out the gate. And I'm like, oh, like you can go for it again. He's like, you have no idea. I've completely, you know, cold turkey using the strong stuff. And I'm just doing this vitamin and herbs thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. And a big reason that happens is because when you guys are taking, or, you know, anyone's taking heavy pharmaceuticals, whether it's for sleep or not, a lot of times these things are, you know, methylated or they're, they're guaranteed potency. They're things that are made to work no matter what. So they're going to tax your system a ton. So even if they work for a while, they might decrease in effectiveness over time, just like any supplement, even if it's not pharmaceutical, it works with many supplements that way. So when you stop taking them, this is the kind of thing that can actually have a really good effect because all of your glands are getting a break from getting beat up by a lot of intense pharmaceuticals and the vitamins and herbs and stuff really can start to take its full effect and you can see a good result. So even if you think you're someone that's committed to only the strongest stuff, I'd really recommend giving downtime a try and you're not gonna regret it. Hey guys, thanks again for listening to this. I hope you learned a lot about sleep recovery, um, a very interesting way to help increase your body's overall physical output is through your sleep. Um, but I want to remind you guys, if you go ahead and subscribe, um, hit notifications, leave a comment. I'm still doing our protein giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.